Hey everyone, this is Daniel, and in this uh, video, I'm going to talk about how you can go ahead and save uh, to a managed metadata column uh, using the patch function in Power Apps. Um, so this actually is just a continuation of a, uh, a blog that I've written, which is available in the Power Users community. Uh, the blog is called Building Power Apps from Scratch, Use Patch. Um, but what I did was in this blog, I had only focused on very specific type of columns, uh, things such as lookups, uh, multiple selections, and things like that. Um, and also, in, I had very specifically mentioned in this blog that uh, I am not using uh, managed metadata uh, as an example. Well, so the blog that I'm recording right now, the one that you're watching, um, is a continuation because over here, I'm going to focus on managed metadata. Uh, so let me take a, a switch over now to the list that I have for this uh, year. I actually got a list called Manage Metadata. Um, and in Manage Metadata, what I have uh, is I've got basically a list with two simple columns. Um, so if you go to the list settings, you can see that I just have title. And then I have pets, which is a Manage Metadata column. column. Um, so what we can do is uh, quickly take a look at that Manage Metadata column. Now we're here, uh, as you can see in my taxonomy, uh, I have got a hotel, and then I, in hotel I've got pets, and then in pets these are the, basically all the uh, uh, terms that I have. So I got a term set, and then these are all the terms, and that's what we're going to use. Um, so now let me jump over to my um, Power App. So what I did for the Power App is um, I, I made it very simple for the sake of this demo. Uh, what I have over here is, um, this is basically just a uh, um, title or a label, and then over here I have a text, because that's where I'm going to type in the lab, uh, the actual title. And over here, um, I went ahead and added a form. So uh, what I did was, even before adding the form, if you go to the um, data sources, I've pulled that manage metadata test list that I just showed you, so that's all I've pulled over here. Um, then I went ahead and inserted a edit form. And then in that edit form, which is the same thing I did over here, in the edit form, all I have turned on is the pets. So that's all. The pets is that same manage metadata column. Um, so over here, that's what you're seeing is an edit form. And then I've hit the submit button. Um, so let's go ahead and actually take a look at it. And uh, then I'll show you basically the formula. That's the key thing. There's a formula over here to use that patch function. So now I'll go ahead and type in, say, first pet. And in that first pet, let me just go and select, say, birds. Now, now just as a reminder, this is coming from that manage metadata, which we, I just showed you from that term set in the uh, taxonomy. That's birds. I'll go ahead and save it. All right, so saving looks like it's completed. Let's go back to that manage metadata test over here refresh it and there you go that's the thing first pet and birds so let's just do in one more example just to make sure everything's working um, go back in I'll just change that to say second pet again in the edit form which I got just the manage metadata column I'll change that to say guinea pig submit and see that it's getting saved and there you go, that's the second pet, and it is saving to that Manage Metadata um, column. Um, so now let's actually take a look at the formula over here, because everything is happening in the Submit uh, button, because that's where the patches are, are put in. So as you can see now over here, um, I have gone and used the patch. Now this, this whole section over here, the top row is pretty straightforward. Uh, we've already seen that, because that's when I'm calling the patch command. I'm saying that you want to go ahead and patch it to that SharePoint list, the Manage Metadata list. Then the next thing I'm saying is, is this any defaults? Already go ahead and put that in. Um, then for the title, which is just the title column, I put in uh, whatever is the title dot text I'm putting in here. Go ahead and save that to that column. But then this whole section, that's the key one for the formula that you need for the Manage Metadata. Um, now this may look very similar to some of the things we are doing for the lookup. In fact, if you just jump over to that real quick, you can see that in the uh, um, in the uh, lookup type of columns, again, we are calling the same Microsoft Azure connectors specifically for the SharePoint uh, list expanded reference. So basically, we're just saying that we are referring to all the SharePoint-related connectors 
in the Microsoft Azure environments. That's, that's basically what this whole thing means over here. And yes, it is an OData type of connection. Um, so again, the whole process is the same. The key key thing is there's a formula. It's a very specific formula and you need to follow that. So again, um, again, it's an OData type of connection. But there's a little change over here. In this section, we're calling the SharePoint list expanded taxonomy. That's the one that we're calling over here. Um, and then after that, you have to go ahead and put in uh, these five other sets as well. There's a term GUID, there's the WSS ID, label, path, and value. Um, the good thing is that for all of them, I'm calling the exact same data card. Uh, and what I did was I, I put it down to the data card value. So in that form, and I went ahead and added that specific manage metadata, I opened up the metadata, expanded it, and I got the exact same data card value. So that's the data card value two. That's the one that I'm applying over here. But then you've got to finish off the same, the entire formula, which is the data card value dot selected dot, you know, term GUID, WSS ID, label, path, value. All of these need to be put in the exact same way, in the exact same order, otherwise it will not work. Um, so I, uh, in the blog that I provided, uh, which will be available in the Power Users community, um, I have provided this entire formula over here, and plus this video will be available as well with screenshots and all the other good stuff, uh, so you can see that. Um, <clears throat> but the formula is the key thing that you will need over there. So um, once again, let's just take a quick overview that the, the Power Apps form was pretty simple. Uh, for this demo, so all I did was went ahead and added this title, uh, went ahead and added um, a form, and in the form, I just called that one specific column. Um, <clears throat> and then in the submit, that's when I went ahead and put in the actual patch command, to call the list, put in the defaults of the list, and then this big formula over here. So now, um, if you now go ahead and take a look at any of my other app, the one big app, if you remember, in my all my other blogs that I've been showing, um, we can actually go ahead and test that as well. So if you can remember that um, in my uh, um, uh, the Power Apps I've always been showing the demo, including including the demo over here, uh, which was for the Power Apps one. Um, this Power App has basically just grown uh, over the period of time, and these new features come out. I've been adding it over here. Uh, if you can take a look, this was the first patch command that I added, um, <clears throat> and you know it, it worked really well. So now in, I've basically added the second patch, this new patch command in that as well. Um, so let me go ahead and pull that up, and then we can. Uh, take a look at the other patch command that I've added. Um, and what I did, um, this patch command is actually being saved. Uh, this is being saved to a separate list altogether. Uh, and then what I did was, here I went ahead and added two more sections. This is for the pet and the pet kind. And the pet kind, that's where it's storing, I mean, it's calling the data from that term store which I just showed uh, in the taxonomy. And it's basically storing over there. So now I'll just go ahead and type in, say, James uh, Jackson123 Main Street. If you remember in the past, this was the actual lookup column that I was doing. So that's what I'm doing over here. Uh, zip smoking with the non smoking single uh, the pet you know this section over here I just put in this little button um, you could have put in that drop down as it is over there I mean the same thing which I just demoed to you where uh, you can actually add that one form the edit form and do that but in this case I just put in a drop down and then that form just shows up as a pop up over here now this term set is the exact same thing that I did. So then the arrival and the departure, I'll do that and I'll save it. So now when I go to my um, list, you'll see that this shows up over there. That's just the same one that I added, which was the, uh, 
James, Jackson, Carolina Beach. Remember, we added the dog. And then now over here, I've gone ahead and added um, the metadata column. So if you take a look at this list, um, you can see that this list is basically a really good test of you know making their own custom form. Um, and that is the first name, the last name, all the single line of text I've done. I've done two lookups. I've done choices, multiple selection type of choices over here. And then I finally went ahead and added the managed metadata as well uh, over here. So um, once again, this video was just a good uh, way to walk you through that now you do have the option to create your own custom Power Apps form. Um, and if you want to use the patch function, you now have this detailed formula to save even uh, items to a manage metadata type of column um, and customize your uh, power apps from however you want it. So keep power apping.